Good morning. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Bharadwaj Institute for Classes. And of course, it's a great dream to become a professional. And of course, thank you for choosing Bharadwaj Institute for the classes. We'll try to uh, give the best, of course, in classes and beyond classes. And of course, uh, for your post qualification also, we'll travel with you uh, till your career or uh, upliftment of career or whatever. So thank you for choosing Bharadwaj first. Of course, with a lot of trust and confidence, you are joining with, uh, I mean, uh, professional classes, especially the course like CMA. Uh, maybe market will have different stories, mixed stories, social network will have different stories about the course. They may tell that it is good, sometimes they will tell that it is not good, sometimes they will tell that it is a good employment opportunity available, sometimes it is not available, sometimes career down to advancement is possible, sometimes not possible. Okay, like that, mixed opinions will be there. But let me tell you, there are many students who have gone to the heights by doing this course, by pursuing the course, by completing the course. Of course, we had seen a student who is doing work in night shifts, coming to the morning classes like 6 to 8.30 or 6 to 9 like that. And of course, passing uh, intermediate group 1, then group 2, then final group 1, group 2 like that. Then his career went up like anything. Uh, in terms of salary, probably from uh, like uh, around uh, 3,50,000 per annum to now he is drawing somewhere around 36 lakhs per annum for a period of 4 or 5 years. That is possible because of the professional qualification as well as what you perform on the job. That is not only the qualification, that is 50%. 50% what you do on the job also matters. Sometimes without qualification, when we do something on the job, we are not recognized. But when we, without professional qualification, when we do something on the job, something, uh, I mean, on the job, we are recognized much better, much higher. So that's why uh, professional course is so important. There are certain things which are important for learning, which I would like to enlighten. Because being the first class, you are on time, very good. You are punctual to the class, being on time is very good. But there is something called as, number one, what is required is consistency. Okay, I have to get up early in the morning by 6 or 5 o'clock, get ready for the class and come. So one day, lethargica, suppose if you think that, okay, Today, let me not go to the class, now, then you will miss a lot. So here, uh, two and a half an hour means a lot. Sometimes one topic would have been got, got over. Okay, if you miss the topic, second topic you may not be able to understand. Third topic, you may be finding it difficult to follow. So the first one is consistency in classes. Be on time, be sincere to the classes. Suppose if at all if there is a health constraint or whatever, you can access the recorded classes and come for the next day kind of a thing. So ensure that the consistency is maintained from day one to, till day end. I had seen the students who are maintaining consistency in attending the classes because in the classroom itself, around 60 to 70 percent of learning is over. We are going to give you concepts. We are going to start with basic problem, then travel to advanced problems. Then we are going to go to examination questions. In classroom itself, 60 to 70 percent of learning is over. Only 30 percent, you have to go through your parent institute material like ICMA material or past asked questions, the homework that we give or in the material itself, some problems are added for practice with solution, with solution, so you can practice them kind of a thing, they are past asked questions or expected questions, so that consistency you maintain, uh, that is the first thing that is required for success. The second one is, uh, listen to the concepts, concepts are most important, without understanding a concept you cannot understand a topic, many people would have heard a myth, uh, like you solve past 5 years question paper, you will be passing the exam like that. Okay, so in the class, many inquiries also were like, for example, sir, will you be asking only past exam question paper, will you go to, go conceptually. We go with conceptual clarity. Every topic has a story behind it. If you understand the story, then it is only a debit and credit. Okay, it's only a debit and credit when you understand the concept. The conceptual learning matters a lot. Understand and learn. So, uh, sometimes what the students do is, you know, theory pace it require. So, let me to solve problems. Sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, they may not listen to the concepts, but while solving, solving problem, I find them, they are slow in uh, solving or they are not understanding why this comes in debit side, why this comes in P and the lockdown, why that goes to balance sheet like that, students have a trouble. So, the conceptual understanding matters a lot. And the third one is, there is a three-step process. One is learn, second one is practice, third one is test yourself. Okay, learning takes place in classroom. Practice also, 50% takes place in classroom, remaining 50%, I told you, you know, that uh, solving homework problems or solving some of the questions from ICMA material, all those things matters. The third part is the most important part. 
Before inquiry, many people used to ask, sir, will you conduct tests? Will you conduct, how frequently will you conduct tests? Chapter wise test, okay. Uh, how many tests you will conduct? How frequently you will do it? Okay, all those things are asked, they ask, but practically, okay, if you look at 100 students when they join for classes, only 20 to 30 takes up the first test. Then it goes down to 4 or 5 students for the last test. Why it is so, I do not know. That is a practice in the past, but let me tell you, those students who are taking up all the tests, those students who are taking up what? All the tests are passing the examination, are passing the examination. So, how simple, if you take up the test, you make some errors, you rectify it, you rectify it. But if you don't take up the test, your first examination becomes a first test. Okay, where when you make errors, you know, then, uh, I mean, it's very difficult. So, with respect to test, we will be absolutely flexible. Those who are working, those who are going to college, can write at home and bring it on the next day, we will evaluate and give you. Those who are full-time students, you can sit here, you can take up the test on the schedule today, we will give you paper, pen, everything. I mean, okay, you would just write the test on the schedule today, then we will correct it kind of a thing. And of course, those who are online students, they can take up the test, we will post the solutions, they can do correction. This is the required uh, answer, this is the answer that is written by me, you can evaluate yourself. That is for the students who are accessing, uh, I mean, recorded classes and online mode kind of a thing. So, test is the most important factor for success. Otherwise, learning and practice is the faculty's job. Okay, test is the student's job. And you are only going to write the exam. This is the third part is most important part. And fourth part is learning. For example, let us assume if you look at the accounting textbooks, the chapters are organized like this. Chapter number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It goes up to what? 20th chapter like that. So, I am going to start with first chapter, then second chapter, third chapter, fourth chapter. In the same order, let me to proceed. Let us assume. You also, okay, first one is only basics. Okay, to practice it will take only half an hour time. In the class, I may take two hours time. For you to practice at home, it will take half an hour time. Capital and revenue, ledgers, cash book, all these things will take lesser time in the practice side. Let us assume I am starting with the fifth topic. What is the fifth topic? Bank reconciliation statement. Without understanding or revising these four, don't go to five. Always while learning, you know, you have to accumulate. College learning is different. Where we learn the chapter, then we go to the next chapter, next chapter, next chapter like that. No. Here, what is required is you learned four chapters. You learned how many chapters? Four chapters. While starting with the fifth chapter, ensure that you are learning what? Revising first four chapters won't go to the fifth one. We start with the ninth topic, consignment accounting, without revising all these things. Without revising all these things. Okay. But if you don't revise, that will be there in our, I mean, temporary memory, it will go off. So, when you are in, uh, for example, branch account, 70 in the chapter, you would have forgotten rectification of error, depreciation or bills of exchange. Why? Because we don't revise. So, for example, when you are in 70 in the chapter, you will be revising a lot and learning a li little bit. And when we go to higher purchase chapter, maybe you will be doing a lot of revisions, like 17 chapters knowledge will be there, then 18 chapter you will add, like that. I request you to accumulate, uh, I mean, cumulative learning I request you to do. When you are in third chapter, you revise first and second chapter, then go for the chapter, third chapter like that. So, that is the most important part in uh, prof any professional course learning. Okay. And the chapter is the chapter is the mind learning. So, ensure that you are revising, you are revising the past chapters. That matters a lot. That is the fourth one. Then, fourth one, what is required is, okay, uh, there is nothing called as, there is nothing called as repeated questions. Maybe, out of seven question, one question may be repeated with same number. Okay. But six or five questions, you will find always it will be new questions. You just take a scanner, past five years question paper, see if there is any question repeated. If there is any question repeated, no question is repeated. Okay. Uh, it is only the concept that is repeated. Let us take uh, partnership accounts, admission of a partner. Will they ask admission of a partner? Yes. But will they ask the same question that was asked in the past exam? No. So, uh, sir, then what is it? Simple. That's why conceptual understanding. If you do conceptual understanding, then it is easy for us. There are six steps or seven steps that you have to follow. If you understand that, then you can solve any problem in partnership. So, there is no concept called as what? Repeated questions. Past asked questions are the base for us to understand the subject in a better way. That is the fifth one that I want to tell you. Sixth one, uh, I request you to, this is a non-educational side, feedback. Uh, I will give a honest feedback about your performance in the class, in the test. 
personality to you. Okay, sometimes as a group, I will give the group feedback. Sometimes as a personal thing, be regular to the class, do this work, do homework, all those things I will tell you. That is from my end, I will give you. Me in the sense, it includes all the team in the faculty. Second is, your feedback is important to us. Okay, for example, we do a topic, second topic, third topic, you attended for about three, four classes. Go and suggest to the faculty that whether you are able to understand, okay, whether you are able to follow, you want more practice problems or more clarity, redoing the topic. So I request you to approach the faculty or uh, anybody for that matter, give your feedback on if there is any correction required from your end because it should happen simultaneously. Classes feedback, classes feedback, it should happen simultaneously. Only then both of us will be successful. Clear? So I just give you the feedback. That is my job, my duty. I will do it. Students also should give the feedback. Okay, you can just openly tell that, sir, I have to tell you that you 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 have to and the Marila feeling at this now go and tell the faculty that okay, sir, the Sutumani get the Purila Kunja the Kunja, better as well. And an example and a Purila and a topic and a Purila and so on, they'll be ready to do. So, feedback matters a lot for both end learning. Okay, don't wait till April end or May 10th and come and tell that, sir, financial accounts Sutuma and Moody learns a lot. Concurrent feedback should be there uh, January, February, March, once in 10 days, once in whenever you feel. To just come and express or just WhatsApp the numbers, they will take care that 9790809900. You just communicate to that number. Uh, the message will be conveyed to the concerned faculty. We will not tell who the student is. If you feel that the student rapport will get affected, okay. So uh, if you feel that that numbers are there with you, so I request you to WhatsApp your feedback or uh, voice over whatever it is, and uh, it will be communicated to the concerned faculty. That feedback mechanism matters a lot. So all these things you follow automatically success is there with you. Success is there with you kind of a thing. So that is with this uh, small words, uh, let me to begin uh, with the learning part.